Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds back for everybody's favorite video. Today we got a watch bag, Facebook Marketplace, $40. Now, the guy says that most of these watches don't work, but I think he just doesn't know on most of these Casios you have to reset them, hit the AC and ground it to get them to turn back on. We're going to see. If you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'm doing something slightly different with the microphone. Some of you said it was a little bit quiet. So please let me know if you like this way or the other way better. Without further ado, let's jump into it. This video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to stop on each watch. So we'll see. Here we have a Casio. 1170ATC1000. Maybe it's a little bit of a polish. And he told me that there's two washes in here that work. This one doesn't. So I'm going to stop the video. We're going to open this and see what we can do. So I opened the back. No battery. So I had to find a manual. And they said um, they're a... Th th oh, that can max step for now. They're the 927. Okay, so let's just open this up. They go up. First one. And I'll close up, put in the second one, then we'll short it. So we're back. Watch doesn't work. That's the AC there. It's like a... Yeah, you can see that. Can you? Yeah. I'm just going to take the positive. We want to make sure that we're touching. Uh, we can probably take it from here too. One, two, three. Try that again. Two, three. Try the other one. So I looked hmm. online and somebody suggested to short it to the case directly. Don't know if that'll help, but let's see. Then some people said turn on the power button. Get this too. I wonder if it's one of these. Like to that. Hmm. Together maybe? Well, I'm going to put this together. If any of you guys know... Let me know. We'll try again another one. Okay, so unfortunately we couldn't get this one on. I think it's just user error. Let's look at the next one. Yeah, and I believe he said this one does work. G-Shock, Casio. Don't know the number. But, um, yeah, it works. So I will put up what one sold for. I'll clean this one up a little bit. Probably keep the strap. But still, that's a really, really good find. Next up, we have a data bank. 1328 ABX 60. So let's see if we can change the battery in this one. So we're back. We put the batteries in. Let's see. Now, probably same thing. We're going to have to probably hit the AC. She says AC is there. Three. Did I get it?
Well, I tried quite a few. I think this is the AC. That would make sense. But I just could not if it go like that. Well, I give up. Let me you guys know if I'm doing anything wrong. I couldn't find much information on this watch, but I couldn't get it. Now, unfortunately, we're zero for two trying to fix them. Next up. Okay, this G-Shock works. Let me see if the um, light works. Yep, light works. So, um, let's see what I have for a strap for this bad boy. I'll take it, do it a quick once over with a toothbrush, and let's see. So, we're back. I didn't have the strap I wanted, so I ordered one on Timu. In the meantime, I just 3D printed this, put a white NATO strap. A little bit small. Should be 22 millimeters, it's 20. But this watch is fairly rare and worth a little bit of money. Next up, we have a Casio. Chinese writing on the back. Casio Casiotron 95 CS 31. Okay. Change the battery, see what happens. Okay, and next up, with the Casiotron, it took a very weird battery, and I don't have the battery. I did put in another similar size battery and nothing happened. So we're gonna assume this one's broke. Next up, main Korea. Ooh, uh, you can see there's um lines left over. Um, I don't think that's gonna be fixable. We have a F91W. These are like $10 new. So I won't worry about a battery in that one. And this is a data bank, 2888 I think that says. When there's tape like this, I get a little bit worried because you never know, why did somebody do this? Okay, the tabs are there. Do this carefully so I don't cut myself. Old tape is just kind of crumbling. Okay, yeah, somebody took off all the batteries and left that open. So, um, I think I'm going to pass on this one. The condition's quite rough. But I think we did good with this one, this one, and this one. If you know how to fix any of them, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.